What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. My name is Rodney, and I want to talk about the truth behind meme coins, the smaller cap community tokens, mostly, right? But then we have some coins as well. Now, this show is called My Crypto Journey. Luckily, as a content creator, I get to be immersed in this every single day, and I really get to understand what the heck is really going on behind the scenes. And with that, I get to branch out to other parts of cryptocurrency because believe it or not there is more to cryptocurrency than just these you know inyasha um, saitama shinja you know shibdo shintama yeah, dogecoin right there's more than just these meme coin my real crypto journey only started about maybe six months ago now i've been in the crypto for a while and when i mean been in the crypto i mean just casually purchased ethereum litecoin bitcoin those sorts of things on the robin hood app my first ever experience is with the robin Robin Hood app. Now, I became fully immersed into cryptocurrency around June because I purchased a bunch of Dogecoin in maybe February or so, and that thing went absolutely insane. Now, I'm not a millionaire because of it, but I made a decent amount of money. With the meme coin craze, I got into Shiba Inu, I got into Saitama, I got into so many different projects because of the potential, right? The potential that really draws a lot of people into this space is that Shiba Inu Saitama dream. The dream of spending $1,000 dollars and becoming a millionaire off of that one thousand dollar investment because that's what really gets people hyped up is the fact that they could become a millionaire right make a ton of money life-changing money off of a small investment kind of like gambling and you hear those feel good stories a lot in this space now like you guys watching my channel i went to youtube and searched up all these crazy meme coins that I wanted to get into. And I found all these different content creators, the same content creators that are in my sphere today, right? Now, I do cover different parts of cryptocurrency on my channel, especially when it comes to DeFi, right? Alternatives to traditional banking, because I think that's where cryptocurrency is going to move. I also like layer two solution, right? And we won't get too much into that. But what I'm saying is that along my crypto journey, I'm becoming more interested in DeFi and, and different solutions to help cryptocurrency as a whole, solutions to Ethereum and those sorts of things. Because if you're in the smaller cap community tokens, at least you understand that Ethereum gas fees suck, right? And these layer two solutions and just different blockchains are alternatives to Ethereum's crazy low throughput and crazy fees just to make a transaction. So I've been branching off more into those, but during my crypto journey, I have taken so many partnerships with so many different projects and got to really study them and get to know them. And the truth is, a lot of these projects ain't shit. That's the cold, hard truth. A lot of these products follow the same template, guys, the same template. They usually pop up in a couple of days with no real backing behind them. They're offering something generic, not groundbreaking, right? Play to earn games or NFT systems or a swap or those sorts of things, right? They usually have some little cute animal representing them, right? Some dog, some mixture of that, or maybe some anime character, right? That is like their MO. That is what they do. And the truth is a lot of these projects ain't shit. They're not going to be anything. They're not going to do anything. They're going to be here maybe for a couple weeks, maybe a couple months, and they're going to fall off the face of the earth. At the end of the day, their best use case is making you quick cat. Now, some of these smaller cap community tokens get the luxury of catching the big promotional campaign shitstorm, right? Which means they go around the horn on a lot of these YouTubers channels like mine and other people that are popular in our space, right? They go around these crazy promotional campaign and the price goes absolutely insane. And the people that get in early enough or early at all make a ton of money, life-changing money on these smaller cap community tokens. But that is their use case. And that's where it ends, in my opinion. That's where it ends on a lot of these projects. That's where it ends. That's all they're good for. Now, a lot of these influencers will encourage you to hold, or maybe they won't tell you to hodl. They'll say, hey, I'm not selling a token because I believe in the project. And the possibility of this project not even existing in six months is highly likely. And what's sad is that a lot of people model their investment strategy based on someone they saw on YouTube because they like their personality and they think this person is a guru. Not understanding is that this person's only hot because it's good for their brand, they get views on their videos, and they probably don't even need that money from that investment. You, on the other hand, probably need all that money you put into that smaller cap community token. And so when it thousand X, you have all this money and you don't touch it because 
influencer A said, I'm going to hodl, you should be taking profits along the way, right? Take your dang profits when it comes to these smaller cap community tokens. And that's the biggest message is that if you get into these smaller cap community tokens who are do doing something generic, like I said before, Plater, and we have these great graphics, guys, it's so easy. A lot of these people can easily make these, you know, real engine uh, game graphic design and you think it's going to be the next best play to earn not knowing that it's just some guy who paid some other guy you know money to make this cool little graphics looking thing and this new shit coin you're into and you think oh wow that's going to be a great game not knowing that this product has no plans to be here six months from now right and i bet you a lot of these teams in these smaller cap community token projects move from project to project to project to project making money all all the way through because crypto is very lucrative crypto is very lucrative my guys it is it is insanely lucrative because it's not regulated any joe asshole can make a token and have some money to promote it and make hundreds of thousands of dollars in a couple of weeks it's just the game we play right so keep in mind that there's always other interests behind the scenes right you may think that shit butt inu is going to be the next best thing six months from now and at the end of the day this dev team or this group of people have no desire to stick around at all after they make their money they're gone and you have to understand is that when we do promotional videos on these tokens, not a lot of people disclose that they're paid, right? I disclose that I'm paid and often I disclose how much I'm paid to the people who watch my YouTube live streams because I think you should be transparent in that department. And at the end of the day, paid promotional videos is the way a lot of us influencers eat, right? But I think that you have to disclose how much you're getting paid and you have to disclose the fact that you're getting paid so people know, okay, this is a paid promotional video, right? You have to understand that these influencers are only talking about these tokens because they're current, right? They're going to get as views because that's what we do, right? We talk about tokens that get as views so we can grow our YouTube audience, right? Grow our following so it helps us monetarily, right? Views equal money in the YouTube world, right? We want to get paid for what we do. We're YouTubers, right? So keep that in mind that if just because a YouTuber keeps talking about a project doesn't mean it's going to succeed down the road, especially if it's a hot topic right now. So what is the solution for all of this? What is the solution? I always talk about this on my channel. I started the Degenerate Portfolio, which which ironically isn't really a degenerate portfolio. It's a modest portfolio that I invest a lot of the money I make off these smaller cap community tokens into top projects that are not exciting, but are safe, right? I'm not telling you to stop investing in smaller cap community tokens because I think it's fun and I won't stop investing in these smaller cap community tokens because I like doing it. It's fun, it's exciting. You know, you can 100X, 10X, and 1,000X your money in, in a day, in a couple hours sometimes, but keep in mind, you could also lose everything when this product decides to rug pull the same night you get into it or a week down the road. So keep that in mind. Sometimes it's better to pull those profits out when you're up. And yes, there are situations where if you would have just left your money in there for you know a few weeks or a month, this thing could have went to the moon and you could be a hundred thousand there. There are those examples where that happens, but more often than not, these projects are just dead in the water after the initial pump. That's just how it is, right? So I'm not telling you to stop investing in these smaller cap community tokens. You just got to know the truth behind these. The fact is, they're not really anything, right? They're just here to make some money. They're here to make the dev team money. They're here to be talked about and to be hyped up. And some of them make it out, right? Some of them make it out. Some of them offer real products, like maybe Shiba Inu or maybe products like Saitama, although Saitama has its own issues right now. At least they have a real product on the market. Now, is it everything they say it's going to be? Probably not. Is it going to be revolutionary? Probably not. But at, at least it's something at the end of the day. Be smarter investors. Be better investors. Take the money you make and invest it into projects that have been established, right? That offer solutions to the biggest problems in cryptocurrency right now. But look at those sorts of projects that reward you for staying in them long term and bypass the instant gratification, right? Because these smaller cap community tokens, what it's about all the time, most of the time is real instant gratification, making that quick $10,000 in one night, because I've done it, many people have done it, right? But if you delay that gratification, right, you get into projects that reward you for being in them long-term, right? That are safer, not as exciting, but safer. I think at the end of the day, you're just gonna be a better investor, diversify diversify right take a step out of the meme token meme coin world it's it's crazy out there the cryptocurrency is bigger than shiba inu cryptocurrency is bigger than dogecoin it's bigger 
than Saitama. It's bigger than all those things, guys. Get out there, learn about other projects. I post videos on them every now and then. If you wanna see more content like that, let me know while still talking about smaller cap community tokens. But I wanted to make this video to ground some of you out there. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think about meme coins? I'm interested to hear your opinion and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.